Hi everyone, this is Lori here with Lori Hooks. Welcome, thanks for hanging out with me today. So today's video is a yarny catch up where I talk about what I've been working on lately. So let's get started. Um, first of all, I wanna mention, I talked in one of the videos that I did last week about the four tier crochet cart that I purchased uh, last week and I was assembling it in that video and then I showed it afterwards. Um, it has two adjustable shelves in the middle and I did finally get those shelves nice and tight and they are now staying stable where they belong. I did assemble the cart first thing in the morning, um, which I tend to be, I don't know if you guys find that you're like this. When I wake up in the morning, I just find I am weak. Um, my hands get like, they don't have any strength in them when I first wake up in the morning. Like if I was to need to open up a jar first thing in the morning, um, it's a problem because my hands just don't work well first thing in the morning. So I finished assembling the cart and then had these two shelves that wouldn't stay. And I decided to leave the cart. Um, in the video, I said that I would get my husband to tighten them later, but I actually just, um, went and did something else for a while and then when I came back through the room where the cart was again later I uh, stopped and tightened up the shelves and I was able to tighten them up then without an issue and they have been staying just fine since then. I've got all the stuff on the shelf that I like to put on the shelf so I would say it's working fine and one of the shelves is the one that I keep my um, crochet hooks on so it's got a fair bit of weight on there so yeah not an issue. I was just very weak in the morning I guess. So let's get started talking about the yarny things. So I also, in a different video last week, talked about getting bored of crochet projects. And knit projects, just bored of projects in general. Um, I had two sweaters that I was really focusing on and um, I just needed something else to do for a bit. So what I ended up working on was, let me grab it here. And they're all falling over. What I ended up working on was I got out the skein of the Red Heart Granny All-in-One and the colorway that I showed before with when I did the review, which was Amethyst. And I just worked up the whole skein of squares. So there's this all the squares from that skein and I made 15 of them. So the yarn says that it makes 14, but I managed to make 15 out of it. And I probably had maybe a third of a square left on the bottom of the skein. But there's my stack of 15 squares. And that's what they look like. So I worked on these on um, Thursday night and over the weekend while I was visiting my parents. My mom thought the yarn was super cool that they can do that and make it different lengths so that you can make these nice granny squares. Um, she thought that was really cool. Um, and she thought the squares worked up really fast. Like we, excuse me, at their house, we tend to eat dinner late and you know we sit at the table at their house to have dinner and talk and whatever and like for example on Saturday night Saturday was excuse me my mother's birthday so we had dinner and we had dessert which she likes to have chocolate pie for her birthday so I made her chocolate pie um, and after dessert we sat at the table and we chatted for a while so we didn't actually sit down and just chill and watch TV till probably close to nine o'clock and I managed to make up seven of those squares before I went to bed. So I thought that was pretty good and I don't crochet constantly like I take breaks otherwise my hands get sore. But my mom was pretty when um, we were getting ready for bed and I picked up my stack of squares that I made while we were watching TV. She was like, you made all those tonight? And I was like, yeah, I made these while we we're watching TV just now. And she's like, wow. So yeah. There's my 15 granny squares. So the other project that I worked on while I was visiting them was my crocheted sweater and it's a cardigan. Um, the pattern is called Olivia's cardigan and I have shown this before so I'll just do a quick show now. 
So, so far I have finished the back panel. That's what it looks like. And when I was, I had already done the back panel before, but while I was at my parents' place, I finished the first front panel. These panels are pretty long. I think this sweater is going to hang to probably a little below my bottom. And I did a full front panel while I was there. So there's the second front panel. And since I got home, I started on the first sleeve. So I think before this sleeve is finished, I will at least attach the front panels to the back at the shoulders to make sure that the sleeves are the right length when I'm finished. But um, that is the crochet cardigan. Mm -hmm. So I did bring, oh, I'll show you the yarn for that because it's really pretty. Using this, I'll show you the label first, this Sadar Jewel Spun Aran. I believe there's um, one of these that includes wool. This is the 100% acrylic version. And these are 500 meters on the donut. That's what the donut looks like. This is the colorway Northern Lights. Such a pretty colorway. This is such a pretty yarn. Yeah, this is the third donut that I'm working on. And I started this just a little bit into that sleeve. Um, and for that project, I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So I did take my knit sweater with me, but I didn't work on it while I was at my parents' place. I just thought that was what I needed the break from. And that project requires a lot of counting and thinking about what I'm doing. It has a 12 row repeat and I have to think while I work on those 12 rows. So I did not work on it while I was at my parents place but I have worked on it since I got home. I try to do one full set of repeats at least a day so since I've been home I've done that every day since I've been home. So I've done something like I don't know 36 rows or something since I've been home. But I'll show you what I have done of it so far. So first of all, we have the back panel. I'll try to show you guys the front side. So there's the back panel. It has sleeve shaping. It's quite a complicated pattern. I'll try to show you guys the pattern. Looks like that focused okay. Um, there's the back panel. I have the first front panel done. So there's the first front panel. Again, shaping for the sleeves. Decreases in there. And I've started the second front panel. And that's what that one looks like. And I'm on the fifth repeat of the front this second front panel so I need to do six repeats and then I start the decreases so that's where I'm at for that and the yarn for this is this Mary Maxim rag yarn that's what it looks like this is a hundred percent acrylic and I purchased this as a kit on Mary Maxim I will include the kit for this, the link for the kit for this in the description box. I will also include the pattern for that crochet cardigan in the description box. So that's what I've been working on. Now, um, in my video last week, I did talk about being bored of projects. And so I gave my daughter my tablet and asked her to find me something new to work on. And I did tell her something new quick and simple. I don't think she got that portion or what is quick and simple to her is different than what it is to me. But she picked out three things that she wants me to work on. Um, I did start one last night, but I'm not going to show it today because I just started it and there's not much to show. And she picked out um, another one that's an amigurumi. 
And she also picked out a blanket pattern, the blanket pattern. I don't know when I'll get to that one, but I did purchase yarn for the amigurumi, which required me, it didn't require me. I decided to also stock up on my Sheepies Katona while I was purchasing. So I just wanted to mention, I've mentioned this store before because I've been there. It's about an hour from my house. It's um, like a small local yarn store. I will put the name of it here because I never say it right. But um, I was trying to find a really dark gray for her pattern and the Sheepies Katona does not have a really dark gray. So I used Yarn Sub to find a substitution for that. And um, that store, my, that local, fairly local store, had um, the, the yarn for that in stock. And so I just wanted to mention that, like, I called, because the local yarn store and they're small, I figured that I could call the store and double check the colors. Because sometimes when you're looking at color online, it doesn't look the way that you expect. So I was looking at the yarn on when the website it looks like it's a light kind of like a medium gray on some websites it looked like a super dark gray so I did call the store and ask them if it was darker than all of the sheepies Katona and she confirmed that it was which was really great of her she went to the shelves and she pulled it off the shelves and she checked it for me and confirmed that yes it's a nice dark gray so um, I ordered some of that yarn so I received it yesterday when they send it, this is how it comes in a Ziploc bag like this. So I had stocked up on my colors that I'm low of, of Sheepies Katona. And I also bought three skeins of this Schuckenmeyer Katina, I guess. And its spec is pretty much the same as Sheepies Katona. It's the same amount on the same number of grams. Um, same amount of meters on the skein. It feels pretty much the same to me. It's just this is available in a darker gray than the Katona was. Slightly more expensive. I paid $4.50 a skein for these and I paid $4.99 for this one and that's in Canadian prices. But um, this was closer to the color that she wants and it's a very dark gray. I'll put the black beside it just so you guys can see how much, how dark of a gray it is. That's what it looks like. So yeah, so that was my purchase from them. I also bought, um, I wanted some Red Heart Super Saver, um, in the soft white color and I was looking at it on Mary Maxim's website again I'm on, I'm in Canada so I'm looking at it on MaryMaxim.ca um, my Walmart didn't have it in stock and Michaels here doesn't carry Red Heart anymore um, I don't think they carry any Red Heart I'm not a hundred percent sure on that so please don't quote me but I haven't noticed any Red Heart in my store for quite some time but I was on um, Mary Maxim's site just to, I guess I was checking pricing and stock of the soft white. And um, I left the soft white in my cart and then I guess about, it was the only item in my cart. And probably about two days later, Mary Maxim sent me a coupon code for free shipping and it said on the email that I could just get the one item and get it shipped. Well, I have no willpower. I didn't just order one item. And I know I said I wasn't going to buy stuff. I mean, the Katona, the Sheepies Katona I needed. I didn't need all this. I didn't have, I don't have specific projects in mind for it. But I did place an order at Mary Maxim. And I haven't opened it yet. So this is the package that I got. And I'm going to open it up and try not to crinkle too much. And there is something in here that's new to me that I keep putting it in my cart and taking it out and putting it in my cart and taking it out. And it was on sale, so I bought it this time. So this is the one that I keep putting in my cart and taking it out. And it is this Premier 
cotton sprout and it is 100% cotton. There's 230 yards, 210 meters. It's a 100 gram donut. And this is a three light. And I bought this to make a summer wearable. I don't know what summer wearable yet, but that's what I bought it for. And I think it's just a really nice soft yellow. Nice for summer. Um, my, my lighting in here is washing it. Well, it's making it look a little darker than it is. But it's a nice summery yellow. So I think I got four of these if I remember right. So that's one. Yeah, there's three more. So I got four of those. I got the Red Heart Super Safer in Soft White, as I mentioned, that I already had in my cart. And also on sale, they had this. Uh, Lion Brand Sockies um, Sock Yarn. Isn't that pretty? And this is in the color. What did it say the color? Last Word. That's right. I remember it had a funny name. Last Word. And this is 75% wool, 25% nylon. So it's going to make a nice pair of warm socks. There's enough on the scheme to make a full pair. Pretty pretty. So that's everything I got from Mary Maxim. So yeah, I also bought um, a couple skeins of... It's the Loops and Threads brand that's like Lily Sugar and Cream. Um, and I bought those at Michael's. I guess it was early last week because they were on sale. All the Loops and Threads brand was on sale last week. So I bought a couple of those. Again, I have a project of mine for that um, that I need to make. I need to finish those two sweaters first, and then I will probably move on to that. I might, we'll see. I might move on to that after I finish the crocheted sweater. But that's my yarny purchases and what I've been working on lately. So what have you guys been working on? What's going on with you in your lives that's interesting? Um, yeah, what's been going on with all of you? So um, I think that is it for today's video. So thanks for hanging out with me today. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for liking my videos. And um, I will see you next time on Lori Hooks. Bye, everyone.